What's up guys and welcome back for another episode of the N64 Chronicles right here on the Honest Gamer channel. So this week we are going back to doing a little bit of racing. Surprise, surprise. But we get to do one of my favorite kind of racing games, Rally Racing with Top Gear Rally. Never played this one. I've played some of the older like arcade rally games so I've never played any of the home ones until the more recent like Dirt series on PS3 and Xbox 360 so let's go see how they used to be. Boys and girls, I should say. Don't want to leave anybody out. And we got another midway game, too. Alright, so we have championship mode, arcade mode, time attack, practice, paint job. Can I erase the data? It's probably some reset. I'll worry about that another time. Let's see what the controls are really quickly. Alright, that's simple enough. Oh my god, that is a beautiful setup for the, the manual. Alright, so let's go back. Well, really quick before we go into the racing, let's see what the... Uh, paint shop looks like. Oh, that's cool. You can s select each section of the car. That's really awesome. It's really detailed too. Wow. That's phenomenal actually. Wow, and you can actually see it getting done on the car itself too. That's, wow. Alright, this is already really fun. Let's just get rid of his little... That's so cool. Alright. I'm done. I don't really care if that... Done. Yeah, exit anyway. Alright, so let's race. Um... Let's check out arcade mode first, and then I'll do, let's do, is that the only track I have? Up or down to adjust number of laps. Well, let's just do three. Fog, rain, snow, night, sunny. Let's go race Silent Hill style. So there's the only two cars. That kind of sucks. Um, I don't know. Let's just do... Too grippy. Sure. Sure. Let's race. seemed unresponsive at first, but... Oh, wow, that's... Okay. So it actually whips out like a fucking rally car. Holy shit. No, come on. This is actually pretty impressive. The car handles pretty well. I'm sure if I tweaked the settings a little bit more, um, I'd probably get different responses out of the car. But as this is, this is really, this feels really nice. Yeah, 
Goop, come on. Alright. We got this. Yeah, no, so far I have no complaints. Like, obviously, my only issue so far is having the one track available in arcade mode, but I'm hoping that's just because I haven't, literally haven't done anything else. I can't see them only putting a single track in here, though. And two cars is an issue, too. Um, but again, I don't know if more are available through like unlocking or cheat codes or something. I'll definitely look into that portion of it before I finish the episode off when I go talk to you guys in front of the TV. Oh, I didn't finish. Impressive. Let's try one more time. One more time and then I'll go for the career mode to see what's different. Hey, you know what? Let's change the weather this time. Try the other car out. Yeah, see, up and down doesn't change anything there. We'll keep it automatic. I'll try normal tires. Normal there. I should go dig out the roll pack. And I'm wondering if they did anything so it feels different on snow. Yeah, it's definitely more slippy. But that could also be because I changed the tires. Yeah, like, I can't even get off the wall. Holy shit. How? Interesting. Well, I'm definitely not going to finish this one. This is massively different. Well, I got 10 seconds left to make it to the checkpoint and I don't even know how far away I am. All right, there we go. 23 seconds now to get to the next one. Highly unlikely, I'm thinking, but we will find out. No, oh, we got that one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where did I go? Where the hell did I just go? Jesus. Well, unless I'm like right on top of the fucking checkpoint. Nope. Alright. Well, let's go check out Championship Mode. <sighs> Alright, so there's the jungle track, so there's at least two tracks in the game. And it says cars. Alright, 10 points needed to advance to the next season. Almost doing. Oh, okay, that's right, because I have the two races. But yeah, no, it said cars available for this season, so it looks like there's the ability to unlock other things too. Holy shit, 20th place. So is this, is this still going to be kind of arcade style where I'm like racing through a field of non-racers and some actual racers? Oh boy. Oh. 
Okay, and there's no timer checkpoint, so. That part I like, that they made it an actual race. Because I know a lot, of, a lot of these older racing games will say that it's, you know, a championship mode, but it'll still play like an arcade racing game. So it's nice that you actually have a race to do. Saw somebody. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I was not expecting a jump. That could have been a lot fucking worse. Alright, so in one lap, I managed to get through a handful of cars, so. see how well this goes. Um, okay, that was random. No clue what happened there. I definitely like that even with the limited controls with, um, you know, just meaning like how in-depth control schemes were back then or how not in-depth they were, it still gets a good bit of a rally feel to this because, you know, when I'm turning sideways like this, I still have to counter steer. Apparently this game can't handle more than two cars on the screen because that was really laggy. That's the other thing I love about some of these older games is, you know, they build themselves to, you know, for certain things to potentially happen, but the game itself can't handle them. And like my favorite example of that is, um, on, I have the Sega Genesis version of this one, so I don't know if it's still relevant if on another console. Um, but the uh, the WWF WrestleMania arcade game, um, any of the championship modes you do, you know, you have to fight all the other wrestlers one-on-one, -on -one, and then there's a couple two-on-one -on -one matches, and the championship match always ends up being three-on-one, and the game can never handle all four wrestlers on the screen at the same time so until you actually eliminate the first person like it frame hops so horribly bad and it's hysterical because I mean you know they obviously built it to be that way but it can't run so it's just it's I always like that in the older games where like I said they, they set something up for for it to be a potential in the game and then when it does happen it can't handle it that was bad. Uh, I think I just blew whatever chance I had because I don't think I'm catching fifth place to get a decent amount of points. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I will take responsibility for that spin out though, but the one on the previous lap was just random and horrible. Alright, we got seventh. We have seventh, thank you. We have sixth, hopefully soon. 
Next corner. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we can pull off Phipps. Yeah, we got Phipps. Don't know if I'll be climbing up any further. So I'm still not even seeing like a glimpse of fourth place. Wait, 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 he just went around the next corner. Come on, turn, turn in. And thirds up there under the tunnel. I don't think I definitely not getting third unless. Nope. He's way up there. Alright, that's not horrible. That's pretty fun. It definitely... It seems like... Okay, so I got three points. Um, it seems like it's one of those games... It's in my pocket what I'm looking for. No save. Um, where it's basically, if you run it perfectly, you can win. So, like, maybe if I hadn't spun out those couple of times, I would have done a little bit better, obviously. But this one's going to be bad, because this is my first time on this track in particular. Let's find out. One odd thing, too, is I've noticed now, like, right off the start of each race, the turning is extremely stiff. Like, I've held the joystick over to one side or the other for a full couple of seconds, and it hardly moves over sideways. So it's, it's almost like the game doesn't want you to turn unless you're going faster. Okay, let's not hill climb right now. Apparently I like trying to go up on two wheels. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was bad. Holy shit. This handles horribly in here. I might actually redo this one after I finish it. I was not expecting the uh, handling to be that loose in the tunnel. I would. Oh, that's a weird fucking way to do reverse. You actually have to pull back on the joystick. That's different. I don't think I've ever played a racing game like that before. Every racing game I've ever played, it was always, you know, hold the brake until you're fully stopped and then the brake again does reverse.
Well, we only passed two cars on the first lap now because of that, so... So apparently I suck on the back half of this course. Hit that same wall again. That would have been bad. Oh, come on. You really have to love and appreciate these old racing collision physics. Because you, you can tell they never really considered colliding into another car. Because all you do is just bounce back like you hit a wall. Which is honestly why I tend to hate a lot of the older racing games. Because that essentially gives the AI, in my head at least, a bit of an advantage. Because like, they can plow into you without a care and send you flying and it does nothing to them. But if you're the one that taps them, you still are the only one affected. So it's, it's kind of stacked against you like that. So I don't know if I'm just playing... It's fucking totem poles again. Come on. Go. Um, I don't know if that's just me playing really shitty old racing games. Or if that really is a thing. But I tend to get really frustrated playing these older racing games like that. Let's not hit the single wooden fucking stake in the water again. I saw someone climbing the hill. So yeah, if it gives me the retry option, I will definitely do this one again. Because I'm curious to see if passing on to the next season, like, unlocks this jungle track in the arcade mode. Unless I can, you know, essentially climb to like third place I think I would need. Either second or third. Now's your chance to place bets to see if I spin out in this tunnel again. Wait, 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 I haven't gone completely. Oh. Probably would have had a top 10. Damn. Not that it would have mattered. Wait, I can still do it. I can see him still. There we go. There's 10th. 
Again, not that it's really gonna make a fucking difference. I'm still not gonna have enough points to advance to the next season. Alright, so that looks like I'm gonna be finishing in 10th. Unless I'm going that much faster than this guy up this hill. Ah. Oh. Alright, so let's see if it gives me the option to redo. Yes, it does. So, I'm gonna take a little puff. Oh. I got my hopes up. It's just a restart on the replay. Damn. No, don't need to save it. Can't save it. Alright, let's try this first season one more time. Hopefully, I won't hit that same shitty spin up spot on this track. Moment of truth. I'm pretty sure it was right after this tunnel. Eh. Well, hey, look, I made it through the first lap without spinning out there. Next car. The detection boxes for these cars has to be bigger than the car itself. So it's at least the third or fourth time that I've gone to pass somebody close and it's registered me as hitting them. don't want to find out that way if I can jump over the wall. I'm always curious in these older games that have, you know, those barriers and jumps, if you can actually jump over them. But right now, I'm not that curious. I'm totally fine with not discovering that. As long as I keep going straight. Jesus, come on, just go around them. Thank you. Top 10. Plus, I figure too, the better I do in this first race, the more slack I can be in the jungle track. No, we are not spinning up. Okay. That's better. Okay. Seven more cars to pass. I 
I see seven plates. It's okay. No, come on. Stop getting all up on the back. Cheat the system and I guess use the wall to turn. Fine by me. Oh, wow. 30 and second are right there. That's good. That is very good. That is not good. Go around, please. Thank you. Get that inside corner. Nice. All right, now where the hell is the leader? There he is, perfect. There we go. Nine points for me. Assuming I don't fuck it up at the end. But I think we're good. Wow, I actually about to lap somebody too. Interesting. No. Come on, come on, go around. Stay on track, thank you. All right, cool. Victory. Nice. All right, so I need, I think it was what, sixth place that offered one point? So as long as I can pull up to sixth, then we can at least look at what happens for the next season. And like I said, I'm curious if this unlocks a new car or if it makes this track available in arcade mode. But we will we will go discover those things, hopefully. And then we'll have a nice little chat about our good friend here, Top Gear Rally. scary. Come on. I'm doing good so far. I'm just worried about that goddamn tunnel. It's definitely my problem area on this course. And here it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. I'm 
the tunnel is literally going to be the death of me in this track. At least it's short though, and I'm better at the rest of the track, so hopefully it equals out and gets me up to 6th place. Somebody up top. We got two cars up there, nice. More for me. Not if I keep doing that though. The soundtrack could definitely be a lot better too. Like it's it's definitely it's interesting enough that you can just kind of space out and focus on the game while it's going. Like it doesn't distract you from the races, which I suppose is a good thing. But it could definitely be improved. I honestly, so far, my my bar for like N sixty four soundtracks is Tetrisphere. It's got the best one so far and literally every game that I've talked to people with about after I post these episodes um, if anybody makes you know some comment about the soundtrack being horrible I mention Tetrisphere and they're like yeah that would be a lot better. No, I did not hit it that badly. Oh, shit. I swear, if I finish like seventh because of that tunnel, I'll be so upset. Four or five more cars. Yeah, I need five more cars. Which is possible. It is definitely, definitely possible. Because we've got two right here, so that's the start. cheating I don't care you can hate me in the comments all you want but I really want to get fucking six place wish I'd known that before I 
I think the other thing that's holding me back on this track is I haven't been able to stay off of these like angled sides. So that's probably robbing me of a lot of speed. But by far this tunnel is the worst. God. Holy shit, I made it through the tunnel in one piece. I can't believe that just happened. Looking good. We're looking good this time. I'm not surprised that was a new lap record. Cool, there's two more right there. Not good. Okay. Seems way too easy to get up on that angled rock section too. Like I feel like it should be more of a wall and less of a ramp. Two. Okay, apparently I have the tunnel figured out. Or I'm just getting stupid lucky. Well, the good news is... As long as I can get around this guy before we end the lap, I have a whole lap where I only need to pass one more car. And there he is. Perfect. Alright. So I have a whole lap to hold the position. And we did it. Like it'd be cool to end up getting the win too, but I don't care. I just want to advance to the next season to see what happens. Nope, nope. Fifth. No. It's 
fine. Stay on all four tires. I'm fine with that. I'll take third, I guess. Or fourth. Sorry. Second place is just going into the tunnel too. Improvement. I gotta say I'm a little proud of myself for not just getting through the tunnel clean, but actually pulling off that pass that lot. A couple more corners. get past first place cool if not don't care I'm on to the next season I mean I might even still have first place for this season but I don't know where this guy who definitely won the race yeah I don't know where he finished in the last one so let's find out start to exit So I got 15 points total. Season completed, progress to the next season. Season went. Oh, nice. I even won the season. Alright, so it adds another track. And then does this make the jungle. Yeah. Oh, wow. It unlocks the desert, too. That's awesome. Cool. So now let me just see if there's more cars. Yeah. We got more cars too. Okay. So I'm sure when we move over to the TV that the book will tell me just how many tracks and just how many cars there are. But I like knowing that it's not limited to just a couple of things. So let's call this on the gameplay and let's go have a little chat. All right, everybody. Well, we all know what time it is, so... Let's see what the holy book's got to say about Top Gear Rally. So, the book pretty much has to say what I had to say. Um, it's a fun game, it's great. It, it was the first rally game obviously released on the console, and you know, apparently we're already a year after the 64 itself got released. Um, but the lack of track options um, was really hurting it. Um, which apparently there's five total in the game, two of them have to be unlocked. Um, but other than that, other than the downside of the the minimal track options, everything else about this game is great. Um, it, it cites a lack of visibility, which for me, playing an older racing game, I kind of go into it expecting low visibility. So that, that might have been something more against the game when it first came out, but nowadays it's kind of like it is what it is, to me at least. Um, but, you know, it, it praises everything down to you know the handling the different options um, for steering um, the weather options that you can change and the one thing that I like that I definitely want to play around with more is the uh, how detail you can get painting the car um, so again not many track options but everything else makes this game a lot of fun I have to agree with it I had a blast and I'm taking away my bias for loving rally racing games so Top Gear Rally a lot of fun I can't wait to play Top Gear Rally 2 when we eventually get to it, so. But, before that, we're going to be doing a little bit more fighting with the next episode, which is going to be Mace the Dark Age. Now, obviously this episode is getting to you guys a little bit late. Um, I apologize for that. Um, I had some things going on in my personal life that just hit me a little bit harder over the weekend, and I wasn't able to get this episode capped off in time for Monday. I apologize for that. I apologize for not posting about it before now, but... It just, it, it was a rough weekend for me, so, but either with this game or the next one after this, I'm not sure which one, um, I'm going to attempt to move this series over to my Twitch channel and do everything live. Um, so that means, you know, revealing what game it is, playing it, talking about it after I play it for a little while. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun um, because it'll, it'll give me more time to actually play the game because, you know, I have a small window 
for being able to film these episodes. Um, and most of that window goes away from having to, you know, set up the camera, load the game up, get everything hooked up to the computer, play it, capture it, and then try to get this ending scene shot too, which is, it's hard to do. Um, so I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier on me. Um, and again, more gameplay for you guys. So instead of getting, you know, maybe half hour episodes, it should be longer and closer to an hour. So again, just keep an eye out on, you know, the Twitter page, the Facebook page, everything. I'll be posting when I actually start trying to do this series live on Twitch. Um, so it's either going to be Mace the Dark Age or whatever game comes after Mace. But either way, next episode we are playing Mace. It's either going to be straight here or right up on Twitch. So I will let you guys know. And until then, thank you for following along. Hope you're having fun on this N64 journey. I know I am. And until next time, game on everybody.